Students, in this lesson, we will study about the parametric form of the parabola y squared is equal to 4ax. So, to start off with, what we will do is we will take a point, let p of x1, comma y1 be a point on the parabola. So, this is a point on the parabola. So, this would mean we can rewrite 1 as y squared. I'm going to write it as y1 into y1 is equal to 4a times x1. I'm rewriting this as y1 times y1 is equal to 2a times 2 times x1. So this is how I'm writing. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring 2a down and I'm going to move y1 to the other side. So it's going to be 2 times x1 divided by y1. So this is typically what we have got. Now since y1 over 2a is equal to 2 times x1 over y1, we can set them to be equal to some t such that that value of t is between negative infinity and positive infinity. So this would mean y1 over 2a is equal to 2 times x1 over y1 is equal to t. This means we can always consider y1 over 2a to be equal to t and 2 times x1 over y1 is equal to t. Okay, now case 1, y1 over 2a is equal to t. This would mean y1 is equal to 2a t. You can box that. Now case 2, 2 times x1 over y1 is equal to t. This means 2 times x1 is equal to y1 t. Since y1 is equal to 2a t, this can be rewritten can be rewritten as 2 times x1 is equal to 2at multiplied with t which means x1 is equal to at squared. So therefore the parametric form of the parabola is at squared comma 280. So this completes the parametric form for the parabola. We are moving on to the ellipse.